I've been a member of UAC uh, since I was a master's student uh, at the LSE before moving on to do my PhD, so it was around three to four years ago. Uh, and for me, it was really important to be part of the European Studies community. Uh, and of course, UAC is the organization to join uh, if you want to be part of that community. I've been involved uh, in the student forum since I've started my PhD. Uh, is one of the main facets of the student forum is to provide a space for PhD students at all levels and I think that's something that's quite important. Uh, the student forum welcomes people who are at the very start of their PhD programs, um, even when they don't ha necessarily have a clear sense of where their research is going and it also is a welcoming space for people who are at the latter stage of their degree and they have a clear vision and they're used to presenting, we still have opportunities for them as well so it's uh, quite a broad uh, space for everyone. I've really enjoyed uh, the conference that we've been holding recently uh, in Newcastle, uh, the annual research conference that we do. So the Student Forum does a, a seminar, usually in the autumn, uh, which is focused on professional skills and development for PhD students. Then we do a research conference uh, that usually takes place in the spring or summer. Uh, and this one uh, in Newcastle, uh, it's really great to see a wide range of people presenting in all the different facets of European studies, and that's something that we're very keen to try and uh, promote amongst PhD students. For me, UACs is uh, a really great opportunity to meet and network with people who are interested in the same areas, different fields of European studies that I'm interested in as well. I found that extremely valuable to me uh, throughout my PhD, uh, and it's really nice to, to be part of that uh, European community.